Today, Luke and I are out on this small boat. We're spending a whole day on the water. We're gonna chase a wide range of species. Let's get into it and I'll see you there. Monster fuddy. And there's another one here, so watch this. I'm gonna put mine straight in there on the jig. Oh ho ho. <laughs> the sun's out. We're going out of the water, guys, on this little unit here. I'm out with my brother, and uh, it is pretty choppy out there, but I'm going to take advantage of this beautiful day, get out there, and chase pretty much whatever we can catch. We've got a wide range of rods, so we'll get in there and see how we go. Let's get a car park. Hopefully we can find one right at the start. Let's just park it right here. Done. Let it warm up for a bit. Oh, it's going to be a bit, bit choppy out there. Look at that guys, there's all fish right under the boat now. I'm gonna let my line out. Let that plastic sink down the water column. Yep, and we're on. You beauty. Ooh, what a weight on that. Oh. Oh, I saw it on top of the water. Luke, oh, Luke was on too. Boy, they're big fish. It's gonna jump. Whoa, big fish. <laughs> wow. Luke's on. <laughs> Double trouble. Good fish. Yeah. I've only got like six pound leader, so I don't want to go too hard on him. Luke's is still a nice fish. Don't get my line. Oh, don't get my line. Yeah, here's a net. Far out, mine's not giving up, man. Look at him, coming right up the boat. <laughs> okay, I've got a big fish on. Dropping right at us. Oi, see colour, see colour. Oh, just scoop it, just scoop it. Oh, it's huge. Oh my God, I haven't caught a salmon that big for a long time. One of those ones you get in the rip. Oh. There we go, guys. What a beautiful salmon. Look at that, just smash that plastic down. 
and that is a good fish. Look how thick that is, guys. Luke's on. All right, ready? It's going to sink down. Yep, we're on. Oh, good fish, good fish. Yours is bleeding, isn't it? It's goffed it. Oh. In the net, in the net, in the net. Yes, good fish. Awesome, awesome fish. Yet again, look at that for the salmon guys. Engulf that and engulf that too. S look, solid fish, look how fat they are too. Put one of these out for bronzies, man. And mine's just about to hit now. They're still hugging the bottom. Still sinking, actually. Jeez, it's deep in here. Still sinking. Come on. While it goes down, you just want to work that lure too, so it's not completely dead when it's going down. Oh, I'm on two. Right here. Good fish. In the net. Look at that, the wind's dropped. And uh, we're just smashing the big salmon on plastics like here. We're gonna leave it here with the salmon. We're gonna catch a couple more and then we're gonna head for some squid. So I'll see you there. jigs on and I'll uh, see if we can get into a few. So as you can see we're just using that red jig there that's a red devil and uh, conditions like this that sun reflecting on that making that gold reflection is uh, elite so we'll give that a crack. So I've got a little squiddly here oh he's gonna squirt us because he's facing that way bang Always when you scoop them, get them arse end and face the head away from you and just pin that out like that. Put the jig back in the water and I've got a nice little calamari. Look at those eyes. How good. Another one, huh? He's gonna squirt, so just face him out. I want. Yep. Oh. All right, guys. Now to humanely kill these guys. So here, how he's brown right now. What you do, you can whack him on the head or whack him on the body. But sometimes you can be lucky and you're onto a squid right there. I'm going to quickly show you how to humanely kill this squid. So what I want to do between the head and the hood. Bang. Now the body's white. Now the head's white. And now he's gone. Awesome. Now pretty much. Oh. Now, pretty much beside it being in the middle of the day, it's actually tide change right now. So there's slack tide and that is ideal for squid. So that's why we've put off the salmon and we're straight onto the squid. So we're gonna go back in the weed and see if we can get some more because it looks like we're gonna get a nice bag of calamari, which is gonna be awesome. And maybe this afternoon, if the wind doesn't pick up too much, or even if it does, we're gonna give it a crack for some whiting. So gonna see if we can get a nice seafood basket. Oh, oh, you see my line move? Yeah, I think a fish whacked it. 
If it's a squid, I'll just let it sink down again. Three, two, one. Oh, did you see that? I had it. I'll do it again. Three, two, one. I don't know, maybe it's a flooded or something. You watch, I wind fast. Oh, see, it was a squid. It was just smashing it. Hungry. Now I got him on. Well, it might be another one then. Oh, yep, there he is, there he is. Under the boat, under the boat, under the boat. Oh, good size. I'll leave him in the water a bit. I'll leave mine in the net. See if we can get some underwater footage for you guys. Whoa, look at that. On the jig. Oh, ho, ho. Doesn't get much better than that, guys. <laughs> and now I've got mine in here. Oh, and we've got two, red and gold. Now this is what's good with rubber mesh. See all the ink on there? Watch this, ready? One, two, three. All gone. How good's that? There's a really good patch of weed right in front of us. I'm just gonna whip that straight in there. Probably got about five squid, I'd say, already. And have been here for about 10, 15 minutes, which is pretty productive. Now, when you're squid fishing, there's a couple techniques you can do. There's a, um, a traditional couple jigs, pause, let it sink down again. And then what I like to do, just wind really fast, pause it, and then let it sink down again. That's one of my favorite ways to do it. And another way is to let it sink down three quarters way, wind really fast, stop, and then just keep doing that to cover more ground. That's more when they're feeding really crazy, but it's really good because you can watch them come right next to the boat and um, grab the jigs like you just saw. There's a squid that just followed Luke's jig in. Squid's there on Luke's jig right now. Bang, look, he just got him. Boom, squid on. It's actually all right. Look at that. Swing her around, straight from the back, bang. Gold again, eh? Nice. That's another way to humanely get it. Choke it. Just turn white. And another squid. Whoa. Look at that, we've got a nice little mat here. It's got a squid on it. And just gonna show you a reference. You know, they're good, good size squid. So 40 centimeters there, you know, 20 odd so centimetre hood, so good eating size ones. I'm gonna use the Glow Tiger now, which is a fluoro green jig, bit of yellow and an orange strip on the body um, underneath there. So what I find in murky water, which it's a bit murky now and sunny days, it works perfectly. So I'm gonna whack that on and I'm gonna see if it's gonna produce some squid. We've got our clip on, come straight off. Just gotta to remember to wash it. So I'm just gonna swap it over. As you can see, it's got all ink on it. That has done wonders before, and Luke's got another one on. I could even put a gold one on, to be honest, because it's working a treat. But we're gonna test this one out. Any followers? Nope. But I'll whip one out anyway. Got the net. Oh, and we're on. First cast too. Not as big, and only got one tentacle, so I need the net, mate. Awesome. Now that one is gonna be whiting bait. Because it's so small, it's actually very tender, and uh, when it comes to using it for bait or even eating it, supreme. Look how bright that is in the water. That's what I like about it, when it's very sunny and murky, it just stands out like no tomorrow. I'm gonna quickly whip another jig out there. Look 
how clear this water is. Sun's reflecting on it. Nice shallow sand hole. And then when we move up, they've got the weed there. So I'm gonna go back in it and do another drift. Yep, got one on right here. Let's hold it there for a sec. Beautiful. Look at that. And Luke's got one too. They got two squid in the net. <sighs> oh, just what I need. Nice cool beverage. Now we've got our fair share of squid. So what we're gonna try and do is anchor up for some King George whiting. And while we're anchored up, we're gonna have a couple jigs out anyway for some squid. So it's pristine conditions now. It's pretty much a glass off. The waves, the waves are just starting to calm down now. But as you can see, not a breath of wind out here. Just stunning. So gonna find a nice sand hole, anchor up, and see how we go. Deploy the anchor. Already hit. You can just see that shiny anchor, the sun reflecting on it. So what we're going to do while we drift back, you want to keep tension on it, but the first metre or so, don't leave tension on it because that chain has to sit on the bottom, or most of it anyway. And now is when we can have a bit of tension. And you can just see by my hand, just going back and forward, and that chain's just slipping across the ground. And you want it to be even across the ground. And while we do that, just let a bit more line out. Don't want to let too much line out because I want to fish this sand hole. Don't want to go past it. Grab our rope. I'm just going to do a hitch around that, like so. Another one on there, another one on the other side. And that is, is uh, anchored up. So what we got here, guys, is our fresh squid. And the best part of the head is this part here. Now, what we've got, guys, is a Paternoster rig. So it's got two little circle hooks on and I just done it with a bead on it. And we've got one little piece of squid there. And on the other one, I'm gonna do another piece of fresh squid. Just pin it once so the tip of the hook comes straight out. And we'll chuck that straight in the sand hole. So I'll just flick it about 10 meters behind the boat. And there's a bit of current starting to go now, which is really good. And we're gonna get the burly pot in, get a nice burly trail going and hopefully a nice cool whiting come in. And on this one, I just got a whiting rig on. So it's pretty much just a loop with a sinker on, about half a meter of leader, and just a long chain hook with a nice strip of squid on that. Cast this one just on the side here. As I was saying guys before, we got a couple of whiting rods in and um, just had literally the first cast at the front of the boat, just coming down the current. And we've got a squid, not a monster, but still a nice little squid. I'll just lift him up, unless you got the net handy there. Yes, I'll just leave it hanging like that. There we go, nice little calamari. Here's what I find. The green fluoro with the yellow orange strip on the belly. They work a treat in sunny days and, and murky water and today it's a win-win with this so can't complain. Some more whiting bait. This one's actually food. So that's my second cast now, 
and another squid. Might as well just keep staying anchored for squid. Let's whip this back out there. It's obviously a nice patch of them. K.O. Put the net back in there. Some dolphins out there. You can just hear them. Not even one whiting, guys, which is um, a bit odd. Luke got a little whiting, but um, normally that size is a fair few of them, but not a hit. We might have to keep on moving, try some new sand holes, and in between might do a few drifts and get some more squid, but it is the middle of the day too, so once it hits that, that three, four o'clock mark, we should start getting into them. Got our burly pot here, and drop that straight down. That's just hit, so pull it up a bit, just to shake all the burly up. And I'm just gonna put that straight here. Hopefully it brings in some fish. Another beauty. Yeah, if I got this one on, Luke's got that. Oh, it's a whiting. That's what we're after. Oh, it's a good one too. Look at the size of that. Whoa! Come on. Shit. Far out. It's all happening. Squid. Something big on there. A whiting on here. And probably a squid on here too. No, not a squid. But it's all happening. Look at that. That's a beast. <laughs> Oh, that's a big, whoa. That is a big girl, that one. Look at that. Beast. Come out. All right, let's put her back. Awesome pattern on it. Look at that. All right, ready? Gonna kick off. Oh, look at that. Off she goes, straight under the boat. <laughs> Guys, have a look at this. Luke's got a squid on, and there's another one here, so watch this. I'm gonna put mine straight in there. Bang, he's got it, I'm gonna strike, and he's hooked. Loosen the drag as soon as you hook him. That way there's um, a little bit of a tension, but not enough slack for it to come off. So the thing is, this one hasn't done all his ink yet, because I just got him, that one has. So just got to, well now it has I should say. See, oh you bugger. Come on, two in the net. <laughs> How good is that? Look at that, glass out, squid in the net. Luke's just got a bait rod in while we're drifting and he's got, look we literally got our squid there. Hey, and he's got a King George whiting. Getting some bites on here. Yep, we got him on. Oh, it's going like a whiting. Oh, oh, it's a good fish, whatever it is. It's, not whiting. it's a bit heavy for whiting though. Bloody. I reckon it's a Port Jackson shark or something. Oh, big fuddy, big fuddy, monster fuddy. Have you seen the size of this thing? Oh, oh, oh. shit. Oh, oh, the burly pot does it. There we go guys, look at that. Now that is what you call floody. And that there is actually a blue spot floody. As you can see those dots on him right there. He's got, he's very yellow in color this one. And uh, as soon as we put the burly pot down, I whacked the bait straight out and we got this ripper. Awesome, looks like I got a mixed bag. Got squid, whiting, flooded, salmon, you name it. But you can't beat floody tail, so what a fish. Two fish and a floody. Oh my god. Another nice floody and a poor Jackson on one rig. Quick lunch break. Hot dogs. 
Oh yeah. All right, the burly pot's right behind the boat. I'm just gonna try and drop it straight down. See if there's a flatty or something right out that pot. Luke hooked up under the boat, so I reckon he's got a whiting or flooddy. Oh, flooddy, see? At the billy pot. We've just got a nice little flooddy on, guys. Yes. Oh, the camera just turned off, but look at that. So when you get the bigger flooddy, just rest him on your, without the line and getting spiked. Rest him on your hand like that and put your thumb on top there and he'll just calm down a bit. But. That is a nice blue blue spot flathead. Red mullet. Oh, I should be putting my plastic in for the floodies. Surely if I just roll my plastic from out there down to the boat, I'll get someone. Got a fish. There we go. We got one. Look at that net. Oh, nice floody. Good fish. How's, what's that, like three or four big floodies now? Oh. Look at that, just smash that plastic. That one's got some sick colors on it. Another blue spot flatty. Awesome. Let's have another try with this soft plastic. And because it's current, I'm gonna cast it a little bit up like that. And it's gonna pretty much land on the burly pot. So I've got to go under this rod, under this rod. Hopefully there's a flatty sitting right here. Ooh. Don't know if that was a hit or not. Definitely getting something on the ground. Oh, there we go. Oh. Banjo. No way, I just. What the hell? On a soft plastic. It's either a monster fuddy. Or oh, I possibly foul hooked a banjo shark that somehow was probably going for the plastic. But he's swimming pretty fast. It's, and it's pretty heavy for Flatty. No way, is that a poor Jackson shark on a soft plastic? Yeah. Do you reckon I hooked him in the mouth? He ate it. Huh? He ate it. No way. That will be a first. Do you reckon he ate it? I think so. No way. It looks like it's in its mouth. Imagine it is. It is. Oh my god, he... <laughs> what the hell? Let's see how strong these nets are. Huh? Just came off too, huh? And there we go, guys. A poor Jackson shark on a soft plastic. Insane. Away you go, mate. Well, that's a first. Oh my God, I got a squid on a soft plastic. Oh, I just hooked him. <laughs> just dipping my feet in the water. And we got a squid on a bloody soft plastic. Look at that. Just got him too. Everything is like in that plastic today. I can tell you that. We've caught salmon on it. We've caught flooded on it. Port Jackson's, squid, this goes on. And look, I'll put him in the net for you guys so you can see how much current. Look at that. There's current too, so. Oh, that's pretty cool. But, there we go, another squid. Whiting. <laughs> Go 
guys, I'm in the bloody water, and Luke and I both have a squid on. I got one right here. Oh, Luke's lost his, I think. But, oh, just chilling in the water. Got a squid. I literally got the camera between my legs, guys. I got another squid here. My legs are in the water, and he's gonna squirt everywhere. Look at that. Got a beautiful squid here, another one. As you can see guys, the sun's going down. It's already about five o'clock. So pretty much stayed a whole day out here. Very calm at the moment, but I can see a breeze just starting to come now. And uh, according to Willy Weather and Sea Breeze, uh, the wind is supposed to pick up a fair bit, up to about 25 knots. So it will pick up a lot. And uh, we've had a very big day out in the water. We got big salmon, squid, whiting, um, monster fuddies. So awesome day on the water, just on this little boat here. And uh, we done all right. Nice hot day today. So I'm gonna get in, and uh, you're onto something <laughs> as I'm talking to you. So it's all happening. Subscribe if you haven't already. Appreciate all your support. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, legends. And I'll see you in the next one.